Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be showing you a makeup tutorial and talking to you about the new Magic Palette from Juvia's Place. I first saw this palette on Nikki Tutorials and I thought it was so beautiful, I just had to try it for myself. I had never tried a product from this brand before, so I just wanted to try something different. Um, the tutorial that she created using this palette looks so beautiful. Um, I just wanted to see if I could have some fun creating some looks with this palette too. So this is the first look that I will be showing you guys today, but I'm going to try to give you guys just a quick look at this palette. And I have really been loving it so far, I'm really impressed with all the colors the matte and the shimmer shades are just really beautiful and you know Nikki has just raved about this palette and it's for good reason because I really have been liking it I have used it to create several looks so far and so today I just wanted to show you the first of the looks that I will be um, creating with this palette so if you'd like to see the swatches and hear a little bit more about this palette and then see how to do this purple smoky eye please keep watching all right, so I'm gonna start with the bottom row because it is my favorite. So the first color is a really deep, dark matte purple, and it's the color I am going to be using most of today. The second color is an icy light blue that's metallic and it's really pretty. And the third color, oh my gosh, I'm obsessed with this metallic green color. It just goes on so pretty. And the last color is another deep, matte blue and this color is really pretty too moving on to the next row we have a light metallic purple this one's really pretty and the other color that I will be using today the next color is a deep metallic teal this one's really pretty because it's metallic but it's like so dark it's really cool and the third one is going to be a metallic like dark gray kind of like a dark silver and then next to it is a really light metallic silver and I think th this color combination here is just so pretty in the next row we have a bright pink that's metallic and it's so pretty it's not going on my arm really great for some reason probably because I've used this color a couple times already um, but next to that we have a matte like rusty orange color and for some reason they are not going on my arm very nice But that's okay. It's just giving you an idea of the color But just know that they go on like so nice with your brush when you're actually applying them. They're so pretty I've used these colors already. The third one is a metallic kind of rusty Brown orange color and the last one is a matte hot pink and that one is so pretty I've used that one a lot too. I've actually used all the colors in this row and they go on so beautifully all right and the last row we have a beautiful metallic gold is the first color and this one is so pretty and so pigmented and bright i love this color and the next color is a beautiful burnt orange this is a matte shade like i said for some reason these matte shades aren't applying like really great to my arm but it's so pretty and it goes on and blends out just so beautifully and it looks great with the gold the third color in the top row is going to be a really light pink and this one's really pretty and metallic and really pigmented too it's probably one of my favorite colors in this palette and the last color is going to be like almost my exact skin tone color <laughs> so it's like really hard to show up but it's like literally my skin tone right now because I'm so pale but it's like a really light matte beige color so it's a really good transition color all right so that is all of the colors in this gorgeous palette one last time just so you can see them all side by side so pretty all right so now that you've seen the swatches for this palette we can go ahead and move on to the tutorial so first I am going to be applying Urban Decay's eyeshadow primer potion the original formula all over my eyelids to give a good base for this eyeshadow application because we want it to be really bright and look really pretty so I'm just gonna apply this and rub it in all over my eyelids so that my eyeshadow has a good base and then we're good to go we can go ahead and grab our beautiful palette ooh la la ooh look at those colors okay so first we're grabbing the bottom left color that deep purple this is the color Aoife, and I am grabbing my Sigma E38. This is a diffused crease blending brush. So just a little bit smaller blending brush um, so I can get it 
in the crease very well. So I've only dipped this color one time, guys, and it just keeps going and going and going and it just keeps adding more color. I haven't gone back for color yet. So now I'm going to grab the color Cassie in the top right and I'm just going to apply this kind of as a, as a transition color underneath my brow and into that purple shade a little bit just so it gives it a nice color to blend into. So this color, like I said, is like my skin tone right now. So I'm just going to use this to blend into that purple really nicely and then I'm just going to pick that blending brush back up and just keep blending it in really nicely on both sides making sure that it is even. And then I am going to grab the E40 brush by Sigma. This is just a little bit of a bigger blending brush and it just really helps make that transition really, really nice. And so I'm just grabbing this to really blend out that purple. Now I am going to pick up a little bit of concealer and kind of a pointed brush. This is just a brush from ColourPop. And I'm going to pop a little bit of this Maybelline concealer onto the back of my hand. And then I'm just going to use that flat brush to start applying that concealer all over my eyelid so that it creates a really nice like defined crease line on my eye and I'm focusing it more towards just getting that crease um, from the inner corner towards the middle because I'm actually going to blur it out on the outer V but just making sure that we have a nice space to apply the next color. And so now I'm going to pick up the color Fazo and I'm going to apply this with my finger because I've learned that this is the best method a lot of times for metallic colors. They just really stick and it really makes them pop. I feel like a lot brighter than sometimes when you use a brush to apply. So I'm just going to apply this with my finger all over my eyelid. And then I am going to go ahead and grab a brush and just go back in and just pack that into the inner corner a little bit and get it up into that crease as much as possible that I couldn't reach with my finger. And I'm just using the Sigma E32 brush to do that with. Next, I'm grabbing the Sigma E45 Small Tapered Blending Brush, and I'm just picking up that same first shade again, that deep purple color, and I'm just packing that into my outer V and kind of blending that out a little bit, but I'm just using this brush to really just get that color in the outer V, and then I'm going to go back in with um, my E38 and E40 brush and really just blend it out. Next, I'm grabbing my NYX Matte Finish Finishing Spray, and I'm just going to dampen this E30 pencil brush. This is just a pointed um, kind of firmer brush, and it's just good for detail work. So I'm dampening it to make the eyeshadow really stick and make it appear more vibrant. I'm just drawing that eyeshadow down into my inner corner and brightening it up a little bit and then I'm going and picking up some more of that color and darkening my outer V a little bit more. And then I am grabbing my favorite eyeliner. This is the Physicians Formula Liquid Eyeliner. And I really like this eyeliner. It works super good for doing winged eyeliner. So I'm going to put on my eyeliner real quick. And now that I am all finished applying my eyeliner, I'm just going to grab a makeup wipe and wipe away that excess purple eyeshadow underneath my eyeliner and just make it a straight line from the end of my eyeliner up to my eyebrow. And then I'm picking up some more of that same Maybelline concealer and I'm just going to draw that out and clean up that area a little bit. This also helps to really like elongate the eyes and make them appear bigger and brighter. And then I'm just going to grab my beauty blender and blend that out. All right, and next I'm going to pick up this light blue silver color and I'm going to apply that along my bottom lash line and draw this out under my eyeliner. This is the color Yamoja. Next, I am grabbing my ColourPop highlighter in the color Scrumptious and I am going to apply this under my brows. 
And then with this small F69 brush, I am going to be picking up some Super Shock Shadow in the color Tassel. This is just like some white glitter that I'm going to pop in my inner corner. And finally, we're ready for L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara. And I'm just going to apply a little bit on the top and bottom lashes so that I can prep and get ready to apply my false lashes. And these are the number 43 Christina lashes that I am just going to pop on here real quick. Now we are finished with the eyes, and so I am going to grab NYX Lingerie Lipstick. This is the liquid to matte lipstick in the color Delicate Lust, and I'm just going to lightly apply some of this on my lips. And this is the final result. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I do hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions or comments, please leave those down below. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter if you don't already. And please keep an eye out for the next videos that I will be showing you with this palette. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up so that I know and I can do more videos like this. I hope you all have an awesome week and I will talk to you soon.